I'm walking a line. Our property line, to be exact. This property line is soon to be the location of a road. I've known this for many years. As long as we've owned this piece of property, we've known that there would be a road here eventually. But there was no reason for this road to exist. There was nothing to go to. It just goes down to a creek where our property ends and another person's property begins. But this piece of property across the creek, we had actually attempted to buy a little while ago. We had inquired about it. But they sold it to somebody else, and that somebody else is building a house. And now, they're going to build a road to get to their house. But how did we know, years in advance, that they would eventually build a road through the woods, cutting down all these wonderful trees, filling in this nice culvert, fixing it up? How do we know all that's going to happen? The same way I know a lot of things are going to happen, like where the light rail is eventually going to reach. The Gaston County GIS. The Gaston County GIS is one of the most superior GIS's in all of North Carolina. It is far superior to Cherokee County GIS. I actually tried using theirs a few days ago to research how Murphy used to be. And couldn't find any old aerial photographs. It was sad. It was depressing. But Gaston County GIS, it has aerial photographs going all the way back to 1938. That's how I know where a lot of stuff used to be. Train track related and so on. But it also marks the right of way, and easements, and so on, if you so choose. And for many years there has been an easement on the edge of our property line and one of our neighbor's property lines. Sixty feet wide, going all the way down to a creek, and a culvert at that creek. And just recently the people who bought the piece of land across the creek decided they're going to build a house, but it has no road access, so they're going to build a road up the edge of our property to an actual road that already exists. It's depressing knowing that we can't have that piece of property, build a railroad on it, dam up the creek, and build a mill or something. But that's that part. Now for something that you might actually be interested in. Something that has wider implications to the world. If you look on the GIS, you can find out who owns each and every parcel of property just about. Like this parcel in Belmont is owned by the North Carolina Department of Transportation, right where the Piedmont and Northern and Southern Railroad used to interchange. And also, while we're here, and since I have all the aerial photographs, there used to be a Southern slash Norfolk Southern uh, spur line going almost to the river following the Piedmont Northern for about 100 feet and then going all along this neighborhood to within just a couple hundred feet of the river. And actually, a portion right close to the end of that line still existed an isolated piece of train track, which you can tell from the aerial photographs. It existed all the way up until 2018. I didn't know about it until after they had tore it up and built a neighborhood on top of it. But it was very interesting. And also, certain parts of the right-of-way are still owned, or are still part of, the DOT land. But the whole reason that I'm going on about this is because if you look at the Gaston County GIS, most trails and rail trails and so on are owned by a park or the Carolina Thread Trail or something similar. But there's one rail trail which is different, the Highland Rail Trail along what used to be the Carolina and Northwestern, a train track that used to exist all the way up until 2007. Now it's just a rail trail, and they're redoing the 321-85 intersection as we speak. But that rail trail is not owned by any Carolina Threat Trail or anything like that, Gaston County. It's owned by the North Carolina Department of Transportation. It's a rail corridor, or a former rail corridor, that's owned by the DOT. But it's not on their list of DOT-owned preserved corridors for some reason. Like the Piedmont Northern is, like the Murphy Branch from Andrews to Murphy is. It's just owned by the DOT, but it's not a preserved corridor. And it's using this little piece of information that I can safely make the assumption that one day when the light rail makes its way to Gastonia, 
they're going to put a little branch going to the 321 and 85 intersection. Maybe they'll tear down that baseball stadium that's right beside it and build a nice parking deck. That's just an idea, of course. But I combine the knowledge of, you know, in news articles they say, we want to extend the light rail to Lincolnton, to Shelby, and to South Carolina. And it seems like that's an easy way to get a few miles closer to Lincolnton. That's a basic rundown of how I'm able to predict some of the futures around here. To tie the light rail and my rail and this road all together, if you were to follow this creek downstream, you would eventually reach, after a few miles, the South Fork River. The South Fork River is crossed by Norfolk Southern and Cramerton, by the Piedmont and Northern near McCaddenville, and used to be crossed by the Carolina and Northwestern near Hardin and Dallas and High Shoals in that area, next to Philadelphia Church Road. And soon, one day, it will be crossed by the light rail. Somewhere between Cramerton and McCandle. So. Also, in other interesting stuff, in the process of making this video, I happened to discover something else. How to take screenshots from my computer. I've gone all this time, many years, without knowing how to make a screenshot. I could take a video of the screen and then take a screenshot from that video in the video editor, but not just from the screen. Now I know that. So, remain enlightened. Hopefully I've enlightened you as to how you, too, can predict the future, as long as your future that you're trying to predict is in Gaston County. What other counties' GISs are slowly catching up to the far superior Gaston County? It's just Gaston County has a a lot of real estate sales going on. Realtors selling to other realtors. Just so they can sell to other realtors. And so on, and so on, and so on. So thank you for watching this. Hopefully, you've been somewhat entertained by this. And you can use some of this information to do something. Thank you, and have a wonderful October 8th, 2020.